Today we are going to explore double slit experiment in physics which demonstrates the bizarre concepts of wave particle duality and principles of quantum mechanics. What is a double slit experiment using light? And what we can learn from it? You're in a dark room, with nothing but a trusty flashlight. You aim your light towards a wall with not one, but two tiny openings. On the other side of the wall, there's a screen where you can see what happens. What do you expect to see on the other side? Two little circles of light. But that's not what happens in reality. Instead, something really interesting occurs. When you shine the light through the slits, you see not just two spots, but a whole bunch of alternating light and dark stripes on the screen. It's like a pattern of bright and dark lines. This pattern is called an interference pattern. And it happens because light behaves like a wave. When the waves from the two slits reach the screen, they overlap and interfere with each other. Where the waves align and add up, you get a bright spot. And where they cancel each other out, you get a dark spot. The amazing thing is that even if you send just one particle of light at a time through the slits, over time, it still creates that same pattern of bright and dark stripes on the screen. It's as if the light particles are somehow interfering with themselves. Now we place the observer or detector at the position of the slits to observe which slit light wave took. One observes that the detector detected photon passes through one slit, and not through both slits. But as soon as you placed a detector at one of the slits, the interference pattern disappears. The act of observing or measuring the particle collapses its wave-like behavior, and it behaves like a regular particle going through one slit or the other. In the year 1801, it was Thomas Young who conducted the pioneering double-slit experiment for the first time. Young was an English scientist who conducted an experiment to demonstrate the wave nature of light. His experiment laid the foundation for understanding the phenomenon of interference in waves. What is double-slit experiment using quantum particles like electrons? And what we can learn from it? Now, let's say we have a machine that shoots tiny particles called electrons towards this wall. These electrons are incredibly small, much smaller than anything you can see with your eyes. Now, what happens when we shoot these electrons at the wall? But it gets even weirder. We see something amazing. Instead of just two piles of electrons forming behind the two openings, we see a pattern of light and dark stripes on the screen. It looks like a series of bands, with some areas brighter and others darker. It's like when you throw pebbles into a pond and the ripples from different places overlap and create patterns. But here, instead of water ripples, we have these wave-like patterns created by the electrons. So, how does this happen, normally? We think of particles as solid things that follow a specific path, but at the quantum level, things are different. Electrons can act like tiny waves spreading out and interfering with each other. So, electrons behave like both particles and waves. So, even though we shoot the electrons one at a time, they somehow create these wave-like patterns by going through both openings and interfering with themselves. This experiment tells us that the behavior of these tiny particles is not straightforward. They don't just follow a single path as we would expect. Instead, they can act like waves and particles at the same time, behaving in a strange and unpredictable way. This double-slit experiment with quantum particles like electrons challenges our everyday understanding of how the world works. It shows us that at the tiniest scales, the laws of classical physics that we're familiar with don't fully apply. Instead, we need to use the principles of quantum mechanics to understand and explain these phenomena. The act of placing a detector to determine which slit the electron goes through disturbs the electron's behavior. It's like trying to take a sneak peek at the electron's journey and asking it to reveal its path. As a result, the electron starts behaving more like a particle and less like a wave. It chooses one slit or the other, but the wave-like interference pattern vanishes. 